let's focus on the subscapularis muscle. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to press from 1 to 5. Okay. This is 1. Mm -hmm. And I can feel the lateral border of the scapula like this. Number 1. Number 2. 3. 4. You, you remember the 4, the tenderness you felt yeah. last time. And this is 5. And I do feel a little tout, tout bend over here for the five and four, a little one. Mm -hmm. So let's focus on that. Okay. Okay, okay. this is number four. This was five. So I'm going to target. So tight. Okay, from here. Oh, I just needled into the tendon. Wow, it's so tight. Different from the superficial area. I just go into the muscle, but for, wow, I hit something. You may feel Ooh, some yeah. pain, right? Yeah, that's right. In terms of length, more than two inches went into it, and that's the right depth for the subscapularis. Wow, this is number five. <coughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel that. Yes, you feel that. Oof. Where do you feel the pain? In like, in, in, in the, the shoulder? Yeah. Okay, good. So, let's keep moving. I'm gonna help you to go hit the bed. Mm -hmm. Is it painful? Oh yeah. Okay, then let's move just in between. Okay. From this spot, from that. Mm -hmm. But I want you to. Do you feel pain somewhere? Not that I've now that I've stopped. No, but for some reason, even the slightest movement. Uh huh. Then I'm gonna pull that a little bit, because okay. the depth was a little bit further than last time. Okay. So you have to imagine that last time the needle tip was just in the middle of the muscle, but today it went through the muscle <laughs> to the bottom of the muscle. Okay. So every single movement of the muscle makes it mm, twinge. But today I just put it a little bit about one centimeter out, so you may not feel the same. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Yes. Yeah. Good. Then let's make it, because you have mostly similar range of motion than this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you more strength by giving you resistance. Okay. Don't let me move you. I'm going to push slightly, engaging more muscle. Let's go a little bit softer. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to push like this only. So you just keep your arm just right there. Don't let me move you. I'm going to give you random strength and random force. Just oppose it. Okay. I'm not, I don't want to go abruptly. Just okay. softly. I want to engage more muscle. And this is the procedure for the muscle belly. And after this, for two more minutes, I want to go to the tendon. So let's go to the tendon. So this was the biceps. Mm -hmm. And just medial to that, I can indicate subscapularis. Please listen to your tendon. It's much smoother. Yeah, it's not as like tight. Yeah. Compare compare that comparing that to the initial visit. Oh my god, yes. yeah. At that time. So painful. Yes. So I do feel many aspects of improvement functionally. And let's see how the pain reduction follows. So this was the tendon for the spraspinatus. Wow. Let's compare that because that's the normalcy. Yeah. That's so rhythmical and smooth. Yeah, it's, it's something like ice is gliding on top of the glass. Oh, that's a good metaphor. Yes, it should be like that. But it's, it's something like sand. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, 
So tab attention. is better. Tab is better, but this area, yeah, that's, that's the right area, spot. Yeah. That's the right that's spot. The spot. So I'm going to go with needles for the prospenatus mm -hmm. and subscapularis. Must exercise, must be strong. Yeah, you can do. I'm going to be a beast. <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> so after beast, do you want to be casted as a beast? I could, maybe. <laughs> My joke. <laughs> Strong voice. <laughs> but I don't want to scare Dr. Z. Uh. <laughs> or his patient. <laughs> okay, this is the subscapularis. Oh, you may feel some heaviness or distension uh -huh. or sharp pain, stabbing. So let's assume what it is doing when what my needles are doing in your body Ooh. whoa so it just made some micro trauma mm. just next to the tendon because tendon itself is surrounded by the peritoneum which means there's uh, connective tissues that supports the tendon physically and in terms of nutrition they give the nutrition because they have no blood vessels mm. they have to diffuse the nutrients and come come out of the they have to haul away the byproduct so that's where the most important streams about the nutrients and the oxygen comes from so I just surrounded the tendon one <laughs> two respectively mm -hmm. that, do you feel good yeah it's level four mm -hmm. another four and this is for the sprospenatus. Mm -hmm. Is it too strong? No. It looks... It's twitching a good amount. Yeah. And it's so hugely twitching, but you feel good. Yeah. As long as you feel good, yeah. that's fine. Okay. 